Welcome to Mountain River Outfitters Premier Guided River Trips. This orientation will help you be more prepared for your upcoming adventure trip. The night before your trip, you will be provided with a guest package, a large dry bag complete with sleeping bag and pillow, a small personal day bag for on the water, and a complimentary Mountain River Outfitters River Mug. First, you will want to separate your belongings into two piles. Pile A should contain everything you will need during the day. Your water bottle, sunglasses with retainer, sun hat, rain gear, sunscreen, camera, and any medications you may need. Pile B will have everything else. Extra clothing, toiletries, extra shoes, and anything else you will want to camp. Pile B will go into your large dry bag or camp bag with your sleeping bag and pillow. This large camp bag will be loaded on our gear boat every morning and will be waiting for you at the next camp downriver. If you are coming in May or June, we may have wetsuits for the colder water temperatures common early in the season. Your wetsuit should be worn with only your swimwear underneath and should fit snug to your skin but not uncomfortably tight. The wetsuit helps keep you warm by allowing water between your skin and the suit. Your body heat warms the water, so it is important you have a proper fit. Splash jackets and pants will also be available to go over the wetsuit or to be worn by themselves to make sure you stay comfortable in all conditions. The first day will include a van ride to the river. You will want to dress for the river. Swimsuit, sandals, shorts, t-shirt. You will have time to put on the wetsuit if necessary when you get to the river. Make sure your camp bag has nothing you will need for the first day. We recommend a few Ziploc bags for your wallet, cell phones, or anything else you need to keep dry. While you are getting ready for the first day on the water, your camping bag will be loaded on the gear boat and will be headed to camp. At the river launch, you will be fitted with your life jacket and will receive a safety and river orientation talk by one of the guides. They will instruct everyone on river safety, paddling, and proper river etiquette. Coffee and hot water for tea and hot chocolate will be available early every morning. Breakfast will be served around 8.30. After breakfast, you will have plenty of time to get ready for the river. When you are packed, you will bring your camp bag down to the gear boat for loading. Around 10, you will be back on the river. Lunch will be served around 1, and you will arrive at the next camp around 4. After a fun-filled day on the river, your camp bag will be waiting. You will want to find your camp bag and your day bag, and find your tent that was set up with your deluxe sleeping pad already inflated inside. Your tent will accommodate two people with a lot of extra room. You can request a larger family tent if you want to accommodate three. You will want to make sure the valve on your sleeping bag is closed before you crawl into bed. The next morning, you will want to stuff your sleeping bag and pillow back into your camp bag along with your belongings.
Mountain River Outfitters would like your help setting the highest standards for river etiquette. Keeping these great rivers clean of trash and microtrash is one of our highest priorities. Trash and microtrash needs to be taken to trash boxes at camp. If a trash box is not available, please hold on to your trash or give it to one of the guides so they can dispose of it later. Regular soap should not be used in and around the river. We provide biodegradable soap for hand washing. Above high water mark, our custom shower system can be used with biodegradable shampoo soap. A river toilet will be at camp in a discreet location or in a privacy shelter. A throne box will be used as a key to let your fellow adventurers know when the facilities are being used. This box will contain toilet paper and hand sanitizer. When you are through, you will simply replace the throne box where you found it to let the others know it is available. Number one, proper shoes and sandals, keeping your feet happy. Sandals that stay on in the water and are comfortable on short hikes during the day. Dry socks and shoes may be worn around camp. Number two, be careful getting in and out of the boat. The rocks next to the river can be very slippery and the boats can move out from under you. Number three, never jump into the river from the boat or rocks unless you ask your guide first. Number four, always drink the water we provide and plenty of it. Do not drink directly from the river or any streams flowing into the river. Number five, poison ivy is prevalent. Be sure to ask your guide so you are certain to identify it. Remember, you are in nature, so all animals are wild, and you need to respect their space. If you have any questions, please contact us, and we will be happy to answer your questions.